Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The comedian Lonnie Love once again is getting exposed for trying to get Tamar Braxton fired from the real. She's also getting backlash for lying on her former joke writer and friend, Cookie. Now just to give you all a brief backstory, Tamar Braxton is a singer and reality star who used to be a co-host on the talk show called The Real. However, she was fired in 2016 and a lot of people didn't know the reason why. Well, Tamar did come out last year and revealed that Lonnie was actually trying to get her fired behind the scenes. It was alleged that she tried to influence the network to get rid of Tamar, but Lonnie has denied this several times. I was ostracized as the bully as a person that got another sister fired? That's Can you imagine true. the hurt after 15 years? Just in general, I and think I with didn't social do media. It. I know you didn't do it, Lonnie. Recently, Lonnie's former friend and former joke writer named Cookie Hole did an interview with Comedy Hype and actually revealed that Lonnie was actively trying to get Tamar off the show because she wanted to be the only ghetto girl on the show. I think that term is so problematic, but basically she wanted to be the only black funny girl on the show. So she was typing up emails, allegedly typing up emails to the network to get Tamar off. And she was pointing out the fact that Tamar missed multiple episodes on the reel because she was performing on Dancing with the Stars. And also she pointed out the fact that Tamar is a liability because she got sick. Now, all of this information was alleged from Lonnie's former writer, Cookie. She did get her, well, she did try to get her removed from the show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She get her kicked off the show. That's why it's around, you know what I'm saying? And the other girls are deers in the headlight because they don't know what's going on. That's why they sit there and listen to whatever explanation that Lonnie is giving. Yeah. You got too much of an explanation for somebody who don't know nothing. When you don't know nothing, you don't talk about it. Yeah. It's not fair that you pretend to be something to be truthful and you're not. That's not right. You don't and and Tamar invited us into her dressing room for the baby's birthday party. You don't shit on genuine people. That's not right. Now, what's interesting is Lonnie did actually indirectly respond to Cookie on The Real, and she also brought up Tamar's name once again when The Real celebrated their 1,000th episode. Watch this. You know, I want to say to Tamar Braxton, you are still our sister. This is your 1,000th episode, too. Like, somebody is coming after me because I used to take care of them. I put money in their pocket. Cat Williams put money in their pocket, and now they lying. Mm. They lying on me, they making lying. up stories, but it happens to everybody. It happened to Kevin Hart. Someone tried to blackmail him. He had to go to jail. Because that's what you have to do, because when you're dealing with leeches, you know, instead of people that you're trying to help, we've all tried to help people, but then there becomes a time when you have to put your foot down and say, look, yeah. I can't help you yeah. no more. I just can't give you money. Yeah. Now, Cookie did respond to Lonnie, and she said on Instagram, laugh out loud, more people like dogs than snakes or liars. Hashtag quit talking stuff. Hashtag ball till I fall. Hashtag you're never going to be funnier than me. Hashtag bark, bark, B. Whew. Now, there was another person who came forward and basically confirmed what Cookie said about Lonnie. Her name is Nikki's Closet on Instagram, and she's actually a celebrity hairstylist, and she used to work with Lonnie. So she actually knows Lonnie, she also knows Cookie, and she went on Instagram and defended Cookie against Lonnie's claims. Listen, today I witnessed the real, and it was fake as fuck today, okay? Let me, let me say this. We need to uplift our black sisters from one sister to another. Now you sat and had this lady write your jokes from the beginning, mentor you all the way through. And then when you get on your platform, you start to bash her. Now this I'm not gonna take, okay? Now I was there with you guys from the beginning before the real became the all the way real, okay? When Tamar was on there and you sat there several times and spoke to Cookie. I've witnessed you spoke to her and told her all the up shit you felt about Tamar. So come on, let's not go there and let's not say that you didn't do this. Yes, you did. Try. You did try. You spoke to whoever you needed to speak to. You sent emails to whoever you needed to speak to because yes, you continue to want it to be the only token black chick on that show. Okay? 
I mean, not that Tamara's not black. Yeah, she is. She's mixed, but still of, of, of dark skin nature. So let's, let's not go there. Okay. Clout chasing and all that. No, that's out. She's not a leech. She been getting checks way before you and she will continue to get them way after you. You ain't the only one that gave her a check now. Okay, so you stars that think that when you get famous, um, you got this one person that you that's helping you come up or whatever, and you just the, the, the big person on the platform. No, it don't work like that, baby. Okay, it don't work like that. You don't you don't do that. You don't do that to people that helped you and pushed you to be where you need to be. Like, come on now. She didn't help you in all your drunken nights when you was fucking young boys and, shit and leaving their ass in Vegas. Come on now. She know you, know you. So let, let's not go there and talk about she's leeching off of you. If anything, she helped you. She helped you grow. She helped you be who you are today. If anything, you should be thanking her. All that crying and fake ass, smiling and shit she was doing. And you crying, talking about, oh, Tamar, this show, this show, thousand show too. You guilty. You're guilty. You're guilty. You look guilty. You don't only want to keep bringing her name up. This only keep happening because of you and your guilt. What you do in the dark going to come to the light, baby. And it's here. Plain face. Plain face. It's here. So please stop this bullshit. Leave it alone. You brought this upon yourself. You the one keep mentioning her. You the one. You the one caused this on yourself. You the one caused this to be relevant. Because you can't embody all the lies you keep telling. So they keep just blurting out on national TV. She ain't, she, honey, baby, she, she good. Cookie's good, okay? She gonna be good and she always gonna be forever taken care of because God is on her side and yours. So recognize the real because you fake as fuck right now. Hooey! So that was the response that Lonnie's former hairstylist gave. And she definitely spilled a lot of tea there, especially about Lonnie getting drunk and sleeping around with younger guys. I do hope those guys were of age, but that's a whole nother topic in itself. The hairstylist also said this on Instagram. I just want to set the record straight. I've been supporting black comedians from day one. So please let's tell the truth now and stop bashing each other. She also posted a picture of her and Tamar together and said this, I have worked with several talented people and this woman did not deserve any of this. She is going through a lot and I will not sit back and continue to watch you talk about both of these ladies. So let's not get things misunderstood. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Honestly, at this point, things are not really looking good for Lonnie because this is the second person who has come out and basically said that she was hating on Tamar. And I do believe it. At first, I was like, mm, I don't think Lonnie would do anything shady to Tamar behind the scenes. I thought Tamar was overreacting because that's what Tamar does. But if you really look back at the whole situation and how Tamar was fired, you could see that Tamar was done wrong. And that's not to say that Tamar was 100% innocent because Tamar's antics may have turned some people off as well. But Tamar was an integral part of the show's success. So there was no reason for her to get fired in the way that she did. Now, even though Lonnie allegedly tried to influence the network to get rid of Tamar, I still have my theory that Tamar's ex-husband Vince may have also played a part in getting her fired as well. I still believe that and it's no coincidence that Tamar and Vince separated after she left the reel. But still, I think it's messed up that Lonnie would allegedly try to get Tamar fired, especially since they were friends. They actually hung out with each other outside of the show, so they became very close. But it's sad that somebody could smile in your face and do shady things to you behind your back. I know Lonnie is feeling somewhat guilty about this right now because she continues to bring Tamar's name up. But if she wants to clear her conscience and have a heart to heart with Tamar, she needs to own up to what she did and she also needs to apologize. If she's not going to do that, she needs to stop speaking on Tamar's name, plain and simple. I'm glad that people are now speaking up in Tamar's defense and I do hope she gets fully vindicated because I feel like she was cheated out of a lot of things. I think that Tamar is talented and she honestly deserves her own talk show. She's naturally entertaining and funny. So I do hope in the future she gets the opportunity to have her own show. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. 
please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.